not your average tabletop. Woohoo! Welcome to Nacho Ever Tabletop. I'm Zach. And I'm Pepper. And today we're going to give our first impression of diced veggies. We're going to be eating our veggies. We're going to be eating our veggies. Uh, for sure. And this is one coming from Kids Table Board Game. Couldn't I have to play with it right now. <laughs> oh, he grabs the cleaver. He's going to ah. be chopping up some veggies. Uh, but yeah, I got this one from Gen Con after I had uh, seen... Or if I'd, after I'd played Power Plants, uh, I really enjoy that one quite a bit. We have some content on that one if you're interested in that. And I thought, you know what, this is an interesting looking dice game. There was a lot of dice and I always get excited when I see those. Um, and it seemed like a smaller box game, which I'm always looking for. The yeah. next nice filler weight, to, you know, yeah. e easy flowing game. Yeah. And it seemed like it was probably that style, not nothing too thinky whereas power plants i felt like was a lot more thinky than yeah. this would yeah. probably be um and yeah so played this one this is actually unboxed at gen con you can check out that video it's a little a little different than our other videos who i'm not sure how great it'll be but you can check that out it's the one we unboxed there so michaela and i could try it out the first time yeah. we uh, just had a lot of games and we thought oh this is probably the easiest one to crack open and actually yeah. learn um after a long day of looking at board games uh, but yeah so this one uh, is a game where there's a big slab of dice different colored dice that you had kind of rolled into this rectangle and then you'll be using the old cleaver knife to chop some dice off of that uh, kind of yep. cut in a straight row and then yep. kind of separate it kind of separate those um, dice, yeah. and the dice can only add up to a total value of 10 that you're yes, separating yes. so you're hoping that there's some low values all together that you can kind yeah. of cut out. And that's kind of your way of essentially drafting dice, sort of. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That you're going to be using to fulfill card contracts, to make recipes, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so it's pretty pretty simple rule set. That's really what you're doing. You have to get the right colors. Um, but yeah, so the yeah. contracts are like most types of games. It's like, oh, you need two green and dice yeah. and a brown die or something yeah. um, to make this and then kind of alongside that to make it a little bit more interesting uh, there are kind of special recipes or I don't remember what they're called exactly um, yeah, but like kind hype of, cards or something yeah some yeah. some additional little cards lines to add to the to um, the new to the dish to the yeah. dish that you're making um, and yeah those require you to do uh, a certain thing when yeah. using your dice that complete that card so it might be yeah. like use all odd dice yeah. or have the value add up to over 17 or something like that yeah. um and then uh during your turn you can complete them uh, yeah. and you can then you just read off the titles and i think i think that is what gives it uh i'm gonna make a kind random, of the loving make a random title <laughs> The loving game that it is. I think without that, um, it might yeah. not be as... Because it's a very approachable game. It is. It is very approachable. What do we got here? Oh, boy. I picked a food that we could not pronounce. <laughs> wow, thank you. Oddly delicious akar. Whatever it is, it's got some carrots. Uh, it's got a pepper in it. Yes. Um, but, yeah, I, I really love that. It's just so charming. It yes. adds like it's home style stuffed peppers. Home style stuffed peppers. Yes. Um, but yeah, you can just kind of combine those, and that just adds fun to the game. It I does. Mean, and this being a filler game, you're not trying to take it super seriously. You right. want to have fun with it, and it's already a pretty approachable theme, being right. veggies, but being dice as well. It's like, is that going to come through at all? And I think that brings enough through. Um, yes. To justify the theme and actually, I mean. Yeah, could have been anything, uh, but right, that makes it work. I, I agree. Um, that definitely um, brings it to the level that it needs to be to not feel like too, like, not not that it's really thematic, but it would really just be totally non thematic and yeah, um, probably would take away from some of the fun. Yeah. I would say. Uh, so yeah, I really love that they did that, and I, I think a lot of them are really. Really cool combos of, of names yeah. that they can come up with. Um, and they usually make sense when you read what they are and what they're requ oh, what yep, required yep. to do them. Um, so that's an interesting kind of 
thematic touch too. Yeah. So I do like that. And um, yeah, uh, after those two plays that I've had, you've had one. Yep. Because um, you're yeah, you're just trying to complete cards, and once someone completes seven recipes and the game ends, doesn't mean that that person wins because they all have yep. point values depending yep. on how big the recipe was that you've completed. Um, whoever has the most points wins. Um, but yeah, so after those two plays, I would say this one's probably at about a 7 to 7.25 for me. I I don't know that it's one that I'm going to want to be bringing out all the time, but yeah. it is it is a very approachable one. So depending on who I'm playing with, I think it could be um, one that makes sense for yeah. uh, most people. And yeah, I, I think this one earns a place on the shelf. It has definitely has that theme that comes out a little bit more than a lot of these uh, kind of smaller games, yeah. I think. Um, but yeah, I, I'd say the one negative mm -hmm. is that the dice, for some reason, specifically. our dice, specifically the yellow dice, I don't know why, but the paint is chipping off of the pips, and yeah. I don't know why that is. Um, I think there's, there's a couple of them that yeah, don't have them like missing. Is, I think maybe like yeah, three of them have pips missing and the others don't. Yeah. So I don't know if it's just those specific ones. Yeah. And they're so. just specifically these yellow ones. Um, so. But yeah, just even testing, like just rolling them slightly aggressively, which you should be able to do with dice. Yes. <laughs> um, and then some of the pips did come off consistently for those dice. Yeah. Um, so that is one thing. Could just be. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Thing with those I ones. think it probably and, is. It's weird that it, yeah. yeah. Specifically those colors, which makes me think there's something that yeah. happened there. Um, but. but other than that, I really love the colors of dice. Mm -hmm. Like we said, just the artwork's really great as well, and the fun that they have with the theme with those cards and those titles um, brings it to another level. Mm -hmm. um, so i probably giving this maybe an 8.5. I think it's oh, wow. a, a really great filler game and one that you can teach to anybody and one that you can play with anybody um and with kids i mean fitting to the company name kids table board games yeah, this, I would is, agree. this would be a great one um for kids as well mm -hmm. um as long as they understand you can only take 10 worth of uh dice i think that's the most complicated thing in the game is figuring out which dice you can have available to you that's true um, but other than that it's just matching the colors to your cards and I think it's a great one for that. Yeah, I, I would agree. And I think this will be, if we do ever make the Nacho Average Board Game Tournament theme, uh, food Ooh, theme games, yeah. I think this one could definitely make that. Because, yeah. Uh, yeah, this one, uh, okay, it plays up to four. But, I mean, I think this one's still one that, at four players, you, you're you still going to probably be, going to be yeah. cooking. Yeah. Uh, it's yes. not going to, I don't think it's going to be an extremely long game by any yeah. means. Uh, it's very much trying to complete them as quickly as you can and, uh, hopefully score a good chunk of points while doing it yeah so. yeah so yeah that's kind of our thoughts on this one there's not too much going on in the game yeah. so it's not too crazy um yeah. but yeah i'd definitely recommend it if you are looking for a family weight game um but yeah otherwise if you like i said if you want to check out our unboxing video you can check that one out i don't know might be a little bit, a little bit weird uh, compared to some of our other ones. Uh, we we may do with what was in the hotel room, so you'll have to check that one out. But otherwise, we hope to see you on that video. And as always, don't forget to keep on nibbling on those diced veggies.